Hello and welcome to NewsClick. Today we're going to cover the latest installment which has come on Media Part, the French online site, which has been looking at the Dassault India uh, Rafale deal. Raghu, the latest question seems to be more on the reliance uh, part of the deal, that not so much as whether the price was right or wrong. Of course, the figures, as you have earlier also pointed out, can be said that, well, we don't know what's a one-to-one -one correspondence between the old deal and the new deal. But there seems to be very little doubt that reliance was really made a condition of the deal. Yeah. And this is what the Dassault inner inter-company uh, yeah. uh, memo seems to say. Yes. See, there is very little doubt, and uh, I think we have covered this ground earlier, that if Dassault as an independent uh, company choosing offset partners in India were to have independently done due diligence and looked for partners, there is no commercial or technical reason on earth for selecting the Anil Ambani group. Two issues which a due diligence would be done. Yes. One is the financial stability of the group. It was deeply indebted, in it was not able to pay exactly. uh, monies. Even yeah. now we have the case of Ericsson uh, asking his uh, Anil Ambani's passport to be impounded right. because they have not paid 550 right. crores, uh, which the Supreme Court has mandated they must That's pay right. Ericsson. That's right. So that is the financial, the financial. mess. And, and the, the second was... Part, because it has zero experience in aerospace, and forget aerospace, zero experience in manufacturing. The only argument they've given is the Pipava, Pipava but shipyard. The Pipava shipyard is a completely different uh, kettle of fish. And it was not part of the Anil Ambani enterprise to begin with. And if he's going to do anything in aerospace, he will have to do everything from recruiting manpower to uh, acquiring machinery and everything from scratch. And Even the Pipava was 2016 that they acquired the that's right. company, that's which also was a sick company, exactly. not able to pay its contractors. Exactly. And so, so there is a, a very clear whether it was, you will of course now come across the usual denials by government spokesmen. People will come and say, show me the written document where we say that you must choose, that's all. There will obviously be no written document. Well, it's in this case, yes, there is no Indian government written document, but right. but the Dassault uh, internal, internal memo memos by the number two of Dassault that's right. says, seems to say so. Says yeah. that it's a counterparty. Right. Counterparty in, uh, I, I would don't, not know the French, but assume it's a counterparty. Guys, yeah. But it also says imperative. Yeah, it also says compensation. Uh, a compensation is a translation they have done. Right. But actually the word used was this is Im imperative and obligatory on us right. and to have him as a counterparty yeah. in Fra French, right. which has been translated by Mediapart as compensation in English, right. but it could be also said to be counterpart. Right. But the, op the operative words is imperative that we have reliance as a counterparty or as compensation, whichever translation you choose to Exactly. Be. Exactly. Now the issue also is, uh, government is also hiding behind uh, the fact and that's all also in trying to uh, uh, cover up this entire uh, issue, is hiding behind the fact that Dassault has identified more than 72 partners in India for different parts of the offset uh, contract. And uh, if we look through these various different partners for offsets, they have been carefully selected for specific roles in electronics, in avionics, component manufacture, companies which have background and experience often of more than 20 years in India, small enterprises and so on. Now that's all a company which can identify 72 such uh, enterprises for smaller parts of offset contracts actually having to do with uh, the Rafale and allied uh, components, you think they will not do due diligence for a contract involving more than 20,000 crores uh, in selecting Anil Ambani group? It makes no sense whatsoever. So whether it is 
compulsion, whether it is a direction or it is nudges and winks, it was clearly made obvious to Dassault that they should choose the Amani group. You know, there are two other quick parts to this. One is that Hal, we have earlier also discussed, Sovarna Raju is on record saying the papers for the offset, the work share, was with Word the government. Yes. So this whole argument of the def defense minister that HAL was uh, not able to deliver, HAL did not manage to finalize the contract, right. that has been already shown to be bogus, at least right. on record. And we still have no explanation why HAL was removed from the deal and then Ambani, Ambani brought in like this. Yes. So this is one part of it. Right. Second is, as of date, the only joint venture that seems to have been built uh, as in terms of the infrastructure is a simple shed. Yeah. Is That seems to be the only uh, way it's been done. So it doesn't look like a reliance or shall we say the joint venture has also made much headway. Not at all. Um, one uh, argument you will be given is they still have time till 2020 to start uh, work on this and in any case there's not a single nut or bolt uh, going to be done in this which has connection with Rafal. All the works that's going to be done for in the offsets contract by Reliance is going to be to do with Falcon executive jets, uh, etc. So th they will say, yeah, we will do this later and they can put up a hangar and uh, stuff like that. But as I was saying earlier, without technical competence, once this deal goes through, what you will find basically is Dassault coming in and setting up this enterprise on a turnkey basis and Anil Ambani will essentially be a Benami operator but receiving the money. And where the money goes from Anil Ambani's company is anybody's guess. That's the other disquiet that Dassault inner circle seem to have shown. Yes. That a money is not investing anything in the joint venture, right. but most of the monies which are going in for whatever purposes may be, are going in as Dassault's share of the That's investments. Right. Right. And this is something that Anil Lamani earlier has also done. There is another namesake, Rafal, which is an Israeli company, Rafael, uh, Rafael, yes. Rafael in which they also brought in, and so this is Prashant right. Bhushan, Arun, Shaw, Arun Shawri's uh, right. uh, document they have given to CBI, that they really brought nothing to the deal. Absolutely. So they seem to be giving their name and their quote-unquote good offices right. for getting 49% of the share. Absolutely. And you think this is also likely to happen here? Very much so. And this is going to be a put-up job uh, in which Dassault will have to do all the running so that Anil Ambani can earn uh, money and that money will be used for a variety of uh, could be used for a variety of reasons, which we don't know. Which we absolutely but don't. they have 49% of the share of the profits right. from whatever the deal now, produces. Although when you started off, you talked about how we may not know exactly the one-to-one -one price comparisons between the older deal and the newer deal on the basic price of the aircraft. But there seem to be indications also emerging from Dassault that there was possibly an inflation of the price now for the 36 aircraft deal compared to the earlier one because of the offsets contract. Because the company has to invest in offsets, they may have offset the offsets by increasing Dassault's own uh, Purchase price. price. Exactly. Okay. The uh, last question, a big question mark on the 110 aircraft for which there was a move to also procure uh, right now, right. Uh, start the RFP and so on. And there was an expectation Dassault would be the front runner for that. Yes. A big question on that, on the 57 aircraft, again, which Dassault could be a front runner yes. with the F-18s for right. the naval part of it, which is, I think, 57 aircraft. Right. All of these are in the range of 100,000 crore and more. Right. So do you think that this, irrespective of what happens in the in this particular deal, a question mark has been raised on Rafal entering these two deals? Unfortunately, that might be one of the uh, spin-offs uh, of this. I say unfortunate because in this new tender for the 114 uh, aircraft, the same six aircraft are competing as had competed earlier. 
there is no earthly reason again why the results of any assessments by the Indian Air Force in terms of technical parameters, staff uh, quality requirements or field trials should turn out any differently from the previous process which has taken uh, several years from which Rasa, Rafal emerged as the uh, leading contender. So there is no reason why that should not be repeated uh, this time. If there is some difference now, that will raise questions again uh, of a different uh, kind. And if the Indian Air Force is actually going to acquire this 36 plus another 100 and odd Rafales for the Air Force, then it would stand to reason for issues of compatibility and logistics that the Navy also acquire the same aircraft provided the technical performance uh, match. There is an additional joker in the pack now. After the S-400 missile deal with the Russians, if the Trump administration invokes sanctions, I think that would knock out the American aircraft from the uh, uh, running, in which case there would be a different ball game at work and there will be very little to prevent Rafale emerging as the lead contender uh, here. But of course, it will open the question about why was the 186, 126 exactly. aircraft? That of course was, be the, was the original thing. Why was it cancelled in the first place? And if you cancel it, then why float another tender for 110? It seems but, to. But it does look like now the scanner is on on the Dassault Reliance yes. uh, part of the deal. Absolutely. And there the Modi government seems to have very little defense as of now. Extremely weak wicket. And whatever Nirmala yes. Sitaraman said earlier regarding HL, etc., etc., right. et et all of it has been knocked out. Yes. And only the weak defense they had was Dassault did it. Right. And now that seems to be also That's increasingly right. becoming difficult to maintain. Right. I think it was always difficult to maintain, except that more and more evidence is coming to light uh, regarding that. Thank you very much, Raghu. Looks like we'll have to keep on uh, watching yes. the Rafale Rafal deal for even right. uh, some more time. Indeed. That's all the time we have for NewsClick today. Do keep watching NewsClick. Visit our website and also our YouTube page.